On to the end of the year, do you ever really take stock in how your life has changed from the beginning of the year to the end of the year? Well, I decided to start doing that. That's not something that I typically do. You know, I just kind of like just roll with the punches, go on day by day. I really decided that I wanted to just look back on each year and see how my life has changed. What like inspired that was I saw someone else do it, but then I thought, a lot did change in my life this year and I wanted to share it with you guys. I'm not going to focus on anything negative, although I will make brief mention of some things. So started with the first thing. In January, my dear sweet cat Charlie passed away. We greatly miss him. He was with us for a really long time, but it did change our life because, you know, he was with us for a really long time. Rest in peace, Charlie. Another thing that I started in January was my live prayers right here on YouTube. For those of you that don't know, I started doing live prayer once a month. And then I started doing sort of like this thing called pajamas and prayer on Sundays. But my schedule kind of like really wasn't working out really well because Christopher has really early morning therapies on Monday. So doing the live prayer on Sunday kind of like wasn't working. I, I just didn't think it through. But, you know, I really just put myself out there. People can be very scrutinizing of people, especially who are Christians. And so I just decided I was going to obey God and do what I could to get out there and just pray for people and agree with people in prayer for whatever needs that they have. There's no power in me. I just want it to be a vessel that God could use here on YouTube. Another way that my life really changed is I started upscaling my side gigs, meaning my blog, my YouTube. I started another YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, I'll leave it linked down below, but it's basically my name, Michelle Smith. And this is more lifestyle stuff, money tips and, and my debt-free journey. Um, it started out, it was supposed to be my weight loss, but yeah, you know, like I'm still struggling with that. But I do self share some health stuff every now and again. I really started upscaling my side gig by, first of all, purchasing and taking courses and training and being mentored by others so that I could, you know, bring the best version of myself and, you know, improve my YouTube channel and offering, you know, what I can as best as possible with what I have available. As far as my blog, you know, I have really started working on driving more traffic to it, especially Pinterest. I really focused a lot on Pinterest this year. I've done a lot with Pinterest and actually it's starting to pay off. So that has changed my life in such a great way. You know, anytime you make a little bit of extra money, your life is gonna change for the better, just saying. So that leads me to the next way that my life has changed and that's in my finances. I'll tell you guys, I am still in debt, but, and I talk about it more on my other channel, but I have paid off about $10,000 of debt this year. That was not anything to sneeze at. It was not easy to do. You know, I was making my minimum payments. I'm making my extra payments and stuff, but it really did help change my financial future because I'm able to save more money now that I owe less money. So God has really used people to bless me financially in so many ways. I had an accident in October of this year, which greatly changed my life because for two months, I didn't have my handicap accessible van to get my son to where he needed to go every day we had to take paratransit it was not easy like an easy 30 minute trip was taking two hours because when you take paratransit they pick other people off they drop other people off and it just makes the day go super super long but god bless me so much through people who like have sold into my life financially and it really has helped. I did get the van back. It's not completely fixed, but it's drivable. So I thank God for that. But my life changed a lot when I had that accident like this. I can't even go into like how many ways it inconvenienced me and how much I realized I really need that van. Now backtracking a little bit, another way that my life changes, my CJ graduated from school. He's 21 years old now. Now he doesn't have a program, which is really like difficult. And that's very, very hard. You know, every day I'm taking care of him because I have no nursing. I have no help. It's just me. And I work from home. I started working from home at the start of the pandemic. And thankfully my company allowed me to remain working from home forever as long as I'm with them so that's a good thing and it changed my life but you know I feel like God saw this coming gave me the favor that I needed to be able to work from home to be able to take care of my child because otherwise I don't know what I would do when he graduated from school that took away you know hours and hours of the day that he would be off somewhere while I was working so now that he's home you know I do get to see his sweet little face all the time 
but also, you know, it's, it's changed my life because it's making it a little bit more hectic to be home and try to care for him. And I do drop the ball in some ways, but I do the best that I can. And the next way that my life has changed, this one is a little bit more serious, but my physical body start acting up, y'all. But I'm in physical therapy right now for my leg and for my neck. I've been having some issues with, um, I don't know, I injured it or something. I don't even know how, but a lot has changed for my body physically. I don't feel like I'm in as good a physical condition as I was in last year. Last year, I was really losing weight and getting healthy. This year, it was just like, I just let it all go to the wind. I don't know why, but I am trying to get back on track because I don't like how I feel. I really don't. And so I saved the most relevant for last. The final way that my life has changed greatly is my hair. I mean, obviously this is a hair channel predominantly, right? So my hair really started flourishing this year. I started using products by Omena Naturals. I mean, I've used other good products before, you know, maybe not with such consistency as I've used the Omena Naturals products, but between that and really just reducing manipulation in my hair, I have seen tremendous change tremendous growth this my hair is very stretched right now but it's not straight anymore because I did finally go back to curly and then I blew it out and I twisted it but I am going to retwist it back up I'm in the house I have no reason to really wear my hair out other than to <laughs> do a video <laughs> but anyway that is it guys I just wanted to share with you all how my life changed in 2022 please if you feel like sharing share in down the comment section below how your life has changed in 2022. And here is to a much better 2023. We may not know what is coming in the future, but we know who holds the future. God bless you.